What's going on, y'all? It's DJ Right Touch back at it with another tutorial regarding OBS and Twitch. Today, we're going to discuss adding Twitch panels to your OBS studio. So, an example would be is adding the chat panel or adding the activity feed to your uh, OBS studio. All right, so let's get into it. So, you guys can see behind me, we have Twitch already opened up. And uh, what we're going to do is, is first, if, if you're not logged in, of course, log in. But um, if you're logged in, go to your icon in the top right corner and select Creator Dashboard. Okay. All right. So once we select Creator Dashboard, usually most uh, folks, Twitch's Creator Dashboards look somewhat similar to this. You have Activity Feed, My Chat, Mod Actions, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the chat first so what you want to do is go to these three dots in the top click on those and select pop out all right all right so y'all see we have it uh popped out now and um you guys can see that right there so this browser that has popped out what we want to do is we want to copy the url in that browser in that chat pop out so go ahead and copy okay and then what we want to do is we want to open up OBS, which I already have open. And we're going to go to View, Docs, Custom Browser Docs. Then you're going to get the this box, and you have two options, or, or rather two spaces to fill out. You have doc name and URL. So we're going to paste the URL that we just copied from the uh, chat browser. Paste that. Then we're going to enable this, uh, name this chat. Okay. You select chat, and you guys see uh, chat window has popped out. Okay. So now with this chat window, we could place it anywhere. So before we place it, oops, looks like I already placed it. Let's get that back out. So before we place it, let's select um, apply. And then let's select close on that uh, custom browser docs window. And now we have the chat box and we could place it wherever we want. So let's go ahead and place it right here. As you can see, it's now placed in our OBS studio. All right. So it's pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and do another one real quick. So let's go back to our Twitch creator dashboard and we're going to take activity feed next. So once again, select the three dots at the top. Go down to the bottom, select pop out. We have the browser that pops out. We're going to copy the URL in that pop out browser. Copy. And we're going to go back to OBS. We're going to go to view, docs, custom browser docs. And again, uh, we have doc name and URL. So we'll go ahead and paste the uh, URL that we took out of that uh, t activity feed pop out box paste we're going to title it activity feed we're going to click apply and our activity feed now pops out so once again before we go forward let's go ahead and close the custom browser docs window so close that now we have activity feed and we can place it wherever we want I'm going to put mine up here and we'll just drop this down a little bit and now I can see my activity feed. OK. All right, y'all. So uh, that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, once again, adding Twitch panels um, to your OBS studio via custom browser docs. Um, before y'all go, just make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There'll be plenty more tutorials coming, uh, especially from a DJ's point of view. And uh, make sure to follow me on all social media. That's DJ Right Touch. So, of course, Instagram, Twitter, uh, and so forth. And then finally, make sure to check me out on Patreon where I am releasing uh, live stream videos, uh, live stream mixes, and um, mixes, DJ mixes. So uh, make sure to check all that out. All right, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. See you next time.